Well, it's it's finally here. Um, the last of the DS Castlevania games. I finally found a good time to play it. I'm in the mood for a Vania, a Metroidvania, Castlevania, you know, the whole deal. Uh, welcome to the stream. This is a Nova Skeleton. I forgot who made these graphics, but they're so fucking good. They're so good. Uh, Paper Mario did not arrive. <laughs> it did not arrive. Sinoishi made these graphics. So, um, I'm still waiting for that, but for now, uh, we can do this. Sinoishi is a very big Castlevania fan and made some really, really nice visuals, as you can see. I want to get this, like, flush. Sorry, I, I, what I meant was, I want to get this crust. That's what I meant. So this is the third DS Castlevania game. Igor Igarashi was in charge of this one. And, um, it's a little different and yet weirdly familiar in many other ways. It's another f fucking great game. Also, Curse of the Moon 2 kind of put me in a Castlevania mood, as it would. Also, we're gonna see if the audio crust continues throughout the game, or if it's just the cutscene. But, uh, if it's not, if the crust scene, if it's not something that recurs, um, then we're good. Then we're good. What is an Ecclesia? It's, um, I think an order. <laughs> I believe it's an order. Wait, is this right? Probably correct. Research introduction. Returning to life time and again since the ancient Middle Ages. Wow, it sounds like we're on Discord. Let me do a sound setting thing. The evil Lord Dracula has driven people to terror. Each time Dracula returned from the dead, the Belmont clan fought him in the shadows, wielding the holy whip. Through their efforts, humanity avoided the darkness. Securing prosperity. But early in the 19th century, having lost their ability to resist the darkness, those in positions of power at the time began to search for new ways to counter Dracula. Our organization, Ecclesia, was born then as one of those countermeasures. Many organizations were established. Now you know what an Ecclesia goal, is. And day after day, they conducted their studies diligently. But each was dissolved when they failed to produce satisfactory results. But that was when Barlow, the leader of Ecclesia, finally made a surprising breakthrough that could stand up against Dracula. Cool. A uh, little minor crust. If anyone knows how to get rid of this crust, let me know. But otherwise, we'll just uh, play. So this is Shinoa. Meet Shinoa, everybody. Say hi. She's not Charlotte! Jonathan, Charlotte! Jonathan, Charlotte! Serves me right for trying to scare you. Albus. Apparently, I didn't hide my presence very well at all. Good to see you, Shinoa. I've only played through this game one time, so this is gonna be pretty... This is gonna feel new to me. What are you doing here? You know, this is our home, after all. Where else would I be? No, it's not that. Aren't you on a mission? Well, yes, but I wanted to make sure things were okay here. Any news worth sharing? Well, Barlow chose me as the bearer, actually. 
We're about to start the ritual so my body can be a vessel for Dominus. Los, los! Dominus! What did you say? Dominus? You? That's right. This is an outrage. Barlow lied to me! Lied? I'm supposed to be the bearer. He promised me that much. But the master said you... What? What did he tell you? That you're unfit to be the bearer. He would never say such a thing. But Albus... I'm sorry, it's time. I have to go. Wait, Shinoa, you don't understand! You're wrong. I'm as much a member of Ecclesia as you are. Shinoa looks like Meg White a little bit. <laughs> I can't wait to hear her drum. Um, our sole purpose is to destroy Dracula so people can look to dawn without fearing the darkness. Am I wrong, Albus? That isn't... For that reason, I will become Dominus, a blade to banish all evil. Shinoa! No, uh, I, truth be told, I, I think Meg White was the perfect drummer for the White Stripes. And, uh, I, I get a little upset when people shit on her unduly. Because she, she was powerful. And the White Stripes music would have never been what it was without her. I really believe that. I just have to rebind some controls. Vinny, this will be on YouTube, yeah? Eventually. Uh, the border was made by Sino uh, Sinoishi. It's too bad Meg had to become Dominus to quit the band. I agree. How could he? Orders may be orders, Barlow. But I'm holding you to your promise. What? What am I fighting for? Shinoa, as you know, only you can become the bearer of Dominus. Yes, sir. Even so, it will be nearly impossible for you to control its power. The purpose of this ritual is to make sure your body will adjust to Dominus. Yes, sir, but when it's over, I... That's right, Genoa. You will be able to wield our most powerful glyph. Dominus, which Ecclesia created as the ultimate weapon against Dracula. I'm proud of you, Genoa. You will become our world's new savior. meaning of this? Albus, you know how crucial this ritual is. You lied to me. Albus, I was to be the bearer. You promised me. We each have a role. If you had followed orders, you might understand that. Above all else, Shinoa is the only one with the capacity for Dominus. Pistos Dominus? You know that as well as I do. I intended to overcome my weakness! What happened to working together? Perhaps we still can. Together we will overcome this setback as well. It's too late! Tell me, Albus, what do you intend to do with Dominus? You said it yourself. Each one of us has a role. And like a fine master, you finally shown me what mine must be. Don't be stupid, Albus. What are you planning? I will be taking Dominus. Be rational. Without that glyph, our mission is a failure. Dracula's vessel. I have my own mission. Yes, that was from his gun. You are my master no longer. Farewell, Barlow. Several weeks pass. Your training regimen shall soon conclude. As you say, sir. 
We tap the power in all things, great and small. To forge glyphs through Ecclesia's secret art. And so we gain the strength to, to save mankind. Absorb the absorb la, 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 the glyph before you, if you would. It, it grants the glyph and ten hearts. A rapier glyph. Just so. And now you see. Absorb a glyph, and you shall know its kind. That is your gift. It is yours, and yours alone. Y yours. I had to increase the screen. It was getting a little... There's some crusts in the resolution, but I think I got it now. As you say, sir. But I must teach you from the start again. A pity this had to happen now. But still, our time is waning. Moving on. As you say, sir. That glyph direct its power towards your arms. Bidoot. Oh, there's some crust on the voice lines. Does, does anyone... D does anyone know how to do that? Get rid of that? I'm using D-E-S-M-U-M-E. -E. Um, hang on a minute, let me, let me check some settings here. Use sync method N. Thank you, Sonoishi. It's already on sync method N. Maybe I'll do synchronous. Let me see what that sounds like. Thanks, Sonoishi. Also, thank you for the art. Get to it now. Place glyphs in your arms. So armed, you can wield glyphs against your foes. Imagine, I am one and strike! Your memories may have fled, but you must not. Hear me, your warrior's instincts must endure. Now meld the glyphs in both arms, prepare. Glyph unions may yet catch foes by surprise. So skillful. Now you face the final test, the danger of true combat. Still yourself. Then once again, once prepared, step into the next room. Yeah. Vinny, have you played this before? One time when it first came out, yeah. I, I remember loving this game. It was good. From Netherworlds, I call your enemy. Use everything you've learned to stand your ground. In the place where you are, and be our greatest warrior once again. But yeah, unlike Elucard and other heroes in the Castlevania universe, Shinoa is all magic. So end your basic training. Now advance! So her swords are magic swords. Shinoa, I expected nothing less. Thank you, sir. And now your mission must begin at once. Recover by su the Supreme Glyph Dominus. My pupil has it. Albus is his name. Albus. Does that name stir your memory by chance? No, sir. Your feelings, then. You knew of him before. I, I know nothing of him now, sir. Know this. It is he who robbed your memories blind. He cost you that. It cost mankind its wish. Its only hope. You must take it back. The ritual. That man I saw. That man was Albus. This is all his doing, but why? He coveted your power and your fate, but Dominus was yours alone to bear. Had I explained, perhaps you'd still be whole. But no time now for wishes or regrets. With Dominus, we too can save the world from nothing less than Dracula himself. Retrieve it, we burn him back to dust. There's nothing else that ever mattered more. It shall be done, sir. You truly are a blessing on us all. And we have one advantage. 
Dominus cannot even cannot be used by ordinary men. Not even Albus. It requires you, no flesh but yours. You can never host a glyph. You see now why I chose you for this task. I do, sir. But Albus has a keen and cunning mind. With time, he may yet find another way. Wow, there's a lot of story in the beginning. I forgot about this. Find him first before his trail grows cold. I shall, sir. Um, why the Sean Connery voice? He's just garbage. That's all. Shinoa, bring him back unharmed, unless... Unless he proves too stubborn. Understood? Yes. Our hopes go with you, and the world's and mine. Nice, nice music already. I don't remember the music in this game other than I liked it. So, you may have seen this game in 3D. It's called Bloodstained Ritual of the Night. DS held the music back. Yeah, a little bit, but there's apparently a way to, um... There's apparently a way to get higher quality samples. Uh, they're working on it now. You've always been a gifted warrior. Your latent talent has not lost its spark. I have faith in you, a willful... You, you will will... You will, 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 you will fulfill your role. Thanks, good, uh, good speech, man. Couldn't even get the words right. Isn't how embarrassing. Just wanted to check something out in terms of. Yeah, we're good. In the previous room, go to the left, bottom or top, and hold down. What here? Ah. Record one. <laughs> That's so cool. Wait, is there another one or no? That's the only one here. Okay. That's that's a uh, that's a good one. Hey, Fred, there's a few all over the place. Oh, I gotta find them. There's that sound. Cool. But Chef Ramsay isn't happy with the lamb sauce. Where's the lamb sauce? <laughs> Chef Ramsay has killed the previous owner of this restaurant. The lobster was fucking terrible. Yeah? You fucking waffle, please! <laughs> Vinny, there's a new paper, Mario. It didn't arrive in the mail! I, I ordered a physical copy because I had a gift card I wanted to spend before it expired. So... Yes, it will be a stream. And, uh, no amount of people complaining because it's not Thousand Year Door can stop me. I may love it, I may not love it, I may like it a little bit, I'm gonna stream it. I know it's not what we want, it's not what I wanted, but there's a lot of people that have played it whose opinions I, I kind of value, and they seem to be enjoying it. So, I want to check it out. I heard the music is really good, the visuals are nice, the exploration's good.
fling. Beautiful sprite work in this game. I think this is probably... I don't know if I like it as much as Symphony, but I think it's of a similar caliber. I'm biased. You know, Symphony is just too difficult to, uh, to replace, you know? Like, it's just, it's my favorite, so... Ringu. It's the horse head from the Godfather. Why do I have a cat? Any of that. Vinny, have you streamed this game before? I've streamed Portrait of Ruin, which visually looks very similar to this. I've streamed uh, Aria and Dawn of Sorrow, and I've streamed Symphony of the Night. This was the one that I really loved that I, I haven't played. I won't be streaming Circle of the Moon anytime soon, which I think is also a pretty good game. Ghosts of Tsushima. I, I'm not really down for that game right now. Sorry. Looks good, though. Chat, I had this fucking... Horrendous, like, swollen salival gland that I mentioned during the Mario Party 2 stream since then, and it's made, like, commentary, like, hurt. It, it hurts. <laughs> oh no, the port gland. go. I like knowing the names of these enemies. Oh, uh, thanks, Luigi guy. I'm alright. I'll be alright. I'm dedicated to my craft, even if that means that my salival gland wants me to suffer. It's getting better. Play a uh, suck on lemon drops? Break the end of one of the ledges in the bottom hallway for some red drops. Someone said suck on lemon drops. Yesterday I woke up sucking on lemons. Um, does the number of glyphs you get change their power? I do have this Paroxyl mouthwash that's really good for, um, like, uh, mouth sores and shit. So I've been doing that. Add affinity points. Okay. Yeah, the bottom hallway we didn't really fully explore, so... The question is, do I now backtrack all the way to the beginning? Are you streaming the Xbox Showcase? Is that tomorrow? 
It's at noon. I probably won't be streaming it. Never mind. Um, no, I'll, I'll talk about it, but I'm not going to be streaming it. Ticket. Oh, village. Carrion releases in two days. Oh, thank you for reminding me. I got a key for that and I forgot to redeem it. I was like, I got another key for something. I don't remember what it is. But yeah, I'll be busy playing Paper Mario this. Um, Rock of Ages may not become a full stream. I don't want to, like, overburden myself. Like, I don't want to take up, like, four new games at the same time. Considering I'd still like to maybe stream more Curse of the Moon 2. Maybe some more Command and Conquer. Maybe the dinosaur missions. Not really sure. Monster Train one day will return. Hades will one day return too. <laughs> so will Noita. And Risk of Rain 2 it apparently has a... Um, Risk of Rain 2 is entering the Steam release version. In August. And I still want to finish Barn Finders. So what am I doing down here? Someone said there was a secret. Oh, that's a warp. Oh, fuck. The ledge where the brown chest is, is breakable. Find another one that looks like that, it's up ahead. Okay. Okay, yep, so I was going the right way the whole time, and that was the wrong way. But uh, now I have the map complete. But yeah, technically I probably couldn't have picked a worse time, considering there's several games coming out. A worse time to play this, I mean. Considering there's a lot of games coming out that I really wanted to, uh, stream. So... And I may soon be going on that vacation. Not much I can do this year because of, uh, reasons. An unnamed virus, uh, that which shall not be named, but... I do think I need some time to do something. I'm open to ideas. I'm still considering my cabin in Pennsylvania idea. But if, if you have any, any good vacation ideas or you run a vacation spot that is free of COVID... Buy a bike? That's cool and all, but that's not a vacation. Antarctica? Huh. 
some backpacking. I mean, whatever I end up doing, it's probably just gonna be chill. Just spending time alone with my thoughts, regrets, doubts, fears. Fun. On second thought, let's just stream forever. Never mind. Oh, there it is. What are- what are red drops? Increases your flame attribute points? Is that permanent? Upstate New York. Yeah, I consider that. Go up to the Catskills. Get no respect from Rodney Dangerfield, huh? So it's a, not even really a good reference. <laughs> it's just not even a good reference. Um, but I don't know. I'll figure something out. Red Drops new album when? Well, weirdly enough, yeah, there was a. I had a studio session today, and it looks like we've got about eight to nine tracks. So that's cool. I'm gonna crowdsource the album name. You could just vote on on one like one word at a time, and that will be the album name. Oh, these zombies do not stop. Look how thick they are, Jesus. I sure hope it was nothing was to the right. Have you had time to watch Akira yet? There's an that's another one day delay. So, so far, Akira will be the end of 2026, if my calculations are correct. It'll be good to finally watch it. Now I have motivation to do so, but it's only been two days, chat. By then, the live action will be out. <laughs> Wait, there's a live action Akira coming out? Is Scarlett Johansson going to be in it? No, but DiCaprio is rumored. Breakable wall in the last tall room. This is a tall room. <laughs> Who would he play? He would play John Akira. No breakable walls here. Taika Waititi was attached at some point. Did, uh, I saw something trending. Did, um... 
you know, on, on the internet, there was a big uh, trend was trending. It was, um... Oh, what, what was it? Something about a movie made by Ryan Johnson. Star Wars 2. Yeah, Knives Out 2. Is that confirmed? Is, is, uh... Is Ryan Johnson making Knives Out 2? So, what what is what is the status of his trilogy that he got from Disney? <laughs> what's that? What's going on there? Is that still happening? I finally saw Knives Out, by the way. Good movie. I, I liked it. I actually liked it quite a bit. I'm not a fan of the dude's uh, Star Wars movie, but it was a good movie. I liked it. Uh, it subverted my expectations, wait for it, in a way that didn't piss me off. I mean that. The dude's got a wheelhouse he likes to work within. Clearly. Also, I love this crab's face. Lobster human, please. Uh-oh, I made a terrible mistake over here. Uh-oh. It is now time for Clab. You get a medal if you beat bosses in this game without taking any damage. Does it do anything? I like accidentally pressing the wrong buttons. Return to Vine Realms? Yes, soon. I haven't picked a day, but... I am not MLG enough to do this without damage. Is MLG still a thing, or is that an outdated reference at this point? Clab. Still a thing, but also outdated. Okay. Genoa, still slaving away for the old man, are we? You, I've seen you before. Your name is Albus, is it not? Well, yes. By order of my master, I am to retrieve the Dominus Glyph and return you home. Home, you say? I have none. The old man saw to that. It was not a request. Intriguing. I recall you being a great deal more graceful than that. And you've forgotten your skill with glyphs as well. I have forgotten thanks to you. Is that so? Well, I am never going back. Remember to tell the old man for me. You must. By order of Master Barlow. Never say that name again! Concentrate, Chinoa. Well, I'd best be off. Take care, Chinoa. Dude, dude is shooting like fucking planets at me. Hmm, he marked a village on this map. Ah, yes. Dude leaves his plan behind, as usual.
Oh, the map with the location fell out of my pocket. You can kind of almost attack fast with this one, but not too much. Remember you have a backdash. Oh, fuck, I forgot about that. It's like every Castlevania game, you get a backdash, and then I always forget to use it. So this Castlevania game does things a little different, and I appreciate it for the difference. Check this out. There's like a world map. And you go to the, the you know, different towns and stuff, and then you get little self-contained maps. I really like that. A lot of different cool locations too, not just Dracula's castle. A glyph. This is Albus is doing? You have saved me. At last! Who did this to you? You must help the others. Everyone in the village has been taken. By whomst? That man, he spirited away the twelve others. And then imprisoned me. But the Lord must have sent you to our aid. Please deliver the others. Can you tell me where the man went? If, if I'm not mistaken, he said something about the prison island. I'm almost up to that in Xenoblade. I see. Long ago, criminals were banished to that forsaken place. Some say their souls still wander the island, which is forever cursed. Where is it? You can get there through those very woods. Please, you must save them. Did Albus really take the prisoners, the villagers, to Prison Island? And for what purpose? I wonder if everyone is all right. Time to steal people's milk that they keep in treasure chests, as if it wouldn't go bad in there. It's so cool. I had a really cool thing happen today. Uh, Gerard contacted me and asked me if I wanted the frog car plushie. <laughs> it's like, that's so sweet. I'm good. I'll buy one. They're back in stock. Oh, shit. I shouldn't have said that. Chat, don't buy one. <laughs> Please! And it's gone. There's the cat I rescued. See, I didn't rescue any villagers yet, but I saved the cat. Line. Oh, cool. 
I forgot about those statues, yeah. Hammer glyph. It's a little slower, but it's apparently more powerful. I haven't seen evidence of that yet. But... Wow! How was your dream last night, my friend? Did you, like, try to fucking, like, influence my dream through some weird incantation? That's a weird, like, cryptic comment, and, and... I don't know how to, how to feel about that. You should, you should stop that. Then you can steal that wizard's glyph? Okay. can make Ralph Blutons. Wow. Kinda sucks a little bit. You didn't hear that from me, but kinda sucks. Oh, the hammer, it's damage types. So I guess this dude is... You can see which ones are weak against what. So I guess the hammer would probably do a better job on the skeletons. Yep, it does. Which Castlevania games have I not played? The Lords of Shadow? Um, I didn't play all of the PS2 Castlevania games. I didn't play the Castlevania Fighter. I didn't play some of the Game Boy ones. Um, I didn't play a lot of Mirror of Fates. I've played Harmony of Dissonance, I own it. I, there was another one too, there was an Xbox one. It's like a multiplayer. I didn't stream Harmony of Dissonance. Harmony of Despair. I played that. I didn't stream Harmony of Dissonance, but I have it. I played it. And I also have uh, Circle of the Moon, which I played, but I never streamed. Castlevania 64 I've talked about on stream. I have a complicated relationship with that game. Because on one hand, I think it's kind of cool, but it's so frustrating that I've never finished it. Kid Dracula, I guess I never played. Also, it's a lot harder to get overpowered in this game, if I'm not mistaken. Portrait of Ruin, I've streamed. Overpowered in this game is a high risk, high reward. Okay. Actually, let me go back and save.
Rondo of Blood. Yep, played that. Castlevania X, or Dracula X, rather. I guess I played most of the series. This is a, such a cool level. And them 3D effects on that Nintendo DS. This game's a little bit more tempered. Like, you're not just getting, like, crazy over-leveled um, early game, you know, drops or... It, it feels more deliberately difficult on purpose. I don't, I don't think I said that right when I said tempered, but yeah. More action-oriented, but more Thanks. careful about its difficulty. As much as I love Symphony, it is really just a breeze. <sighs> hey, you saved me. Thanks. I'm Jacob. Got a general store in Michael Village. On that note, I should probably get back to it. But listen, I might have some things you can use. Come by the shop and we'll do business. Jacob, what the fuck is poggers? There's a pirate ship level in Ritual of the Night, Bloodstained. It's right in the beginning. Not really a pirate ship, more transport, but... Yeah, I like that there's just an apple floating. It's a nice detail. And again, it's just a connective level. That's what's cool about it. You really feel like you're on an adventure. It's got a little bit of a Castlevania 2 feel to it in some ways. Yeah, I don't like that door. You missed a super cool secret in the ceiling after the save point in the last level? Really? Hello. Has God ever spoken to you? He spoke to me once, telling me to clear this wasteland and build a village. Vinny, did you notice Shinoa dabbing in your overlay? Why is that overlay different than when I saw it before? long is this gif that it could do something like this? See, this is what it's supposed to look like. Like, how long can you make a gif that it would eventually turn into that, like, an, a half hour later? <laughs> like, 50 minutes? It's... three megabytes. 
Also, there was an uh, emote included in the pack. Vine Nova. It's the, it's the Nova skeleton. They're, they're T-posing. Look, there's a T-pose in the background right now! I'm just, I'm just gonna leave it. I'm just gonna leave it. Hey, want to buy something? Babushka? Karuskin? Come back again! Albus is doing a Fortnite dance. Sonoy, she was waiting for this moment. By the way, that stuff was sent to me like eight months ago. So Sonoy, she was waiting for this moment for all their lives. Oh Lord. Oh my god! I remember you. Oh my god, that was like a pixel away from death. The skeleton has not fallen apart. That's very suspicious. Going to save. The overlay is now back to normal. <laughs> There's another one for next time, too. Calidus Channel Secret. W where is the Calidus Channel Secret? After save point and ceiling. I like that Ego was somehow able to do, like, something different with the formula, and yet still keep it familiar enough that it felt like Symphony in, in, a, in a way that was good. I think he strayed a little far from that with the first two GBA Castlevanias. But they're still good games. They're, they're more like 
classic Castlevania in some ways. But yeah, there's it's supposed to be in the ceiling. What Harmony was great. Yeah, Harmony was a good game, but it didn't it never really retained my interest like to go back for a second playthrough. I, I guess I like games with lots of weapons. And it was just the whip with various whip heads. I don't remember disliking the game except it's really fucking crusty music. But Circle of the Moon, I thought, was better than Harmony, and Aria was better than both of those. Oh, there it is. Twinbee. The game? 5,000 points! Is there any Castlevania you would say is bad? Some would say Castlevania 64. Some would say... Castlevania 2. Some would say... Dracula X. I think... Dracula X is okay, it's just not Rondo. It's the Super Nintendo version of Rondo that got kind of botched. It's decent, but it's not... It's not great. Um, I hate Castlevania on the Game Boy. The first one. I had that game... I played it for years, and I couldn't get past, like, level three. I hated it. Not just because I was bad at it. It was just, it was so slow. The controls were even stiffer than usual. And it made me, like, miserable. <laughs> it just, it made me miserable. But I would argue Castlevania 64 has a lot of merit. Same for Castlevania 2, and same for Dracula X. Well, Dracula X, it's a shame it couldn't have been Rondo. Because it's like, you play the two side by side, and it's, it's like a world of difference. But, yeah, there's no, I don't think there's any specifically terrible Castlevania game. Aside from the Game Boy ones, maybe. Castlevania Adventure Rebirth on the Wii. Yeah, forgot about that. That was um, a remake of the GB, uh, the Game Boy Castlevania 1, Castlevania Adventure. And it was a WiiWare game that was actually really good. Difficult, but in the right way, not in the bullshit way. The second Castlevania on the GB was good. I never played that one. What's your opinion on the God of War Castlevania? Yeah, no, I didn't play that one. That's Lords of Shadow. I didn't play that. I played the 3DS Lords of Shadow game, which was like Mirror of Fates. It was like the same kind of style and like whip combos and stuff and it did nothing for me i never finished it lords of shadows better than people give it credit for i believe that i know people that like that game it doesn't feel very castlevania -y, but apparently it's good in its own merits Oopsie, why you no hasta How do you feel about the Metroid Prime games? I think many of you that watch the streams regularly know this, but... Metroid Prime games, especially 1 and 2, are some of my favorite games ever. Three's good too. One day I'll stream it, but... For now, I'm, I'm waiting for that, uh, that collection. Can't wait for Metroid Prime Trilogy on the Switch. Any day now. Any day. Maybe in the Nintendo Direct Mini number two. Metroid scared me when I was in elementary, says a chat member. Metroid 2 scared me. 
that game was weirdly frightening and, and just weird. Do you remember the music in that one area that's more technological? I thought that was like the weirdest fucking like music. It was just creepy and, and empty and strange and then the Metroids like had jump scares. When I finally beat that game, Metroid 2 that is, I was so happy because it was like over a year of starting over, you know, trying again, losing my place. Like I would forget where I was if I didn't play the game for a couple months. So I would just come back to it. But, um, yeah, it was a really difficult game, and it was hard to navigate, but it was really good with the atmosphere, and it was really rewarding to finally finish it. Still maybe not the best aged game, like Metroid 1. It, it kind of feels dated, but it's... I think it's underrated. Compare that to Castlevania Adventure, which I had. Um, and like I said, I played for years and years and years. Couldn't get past level 3. Fuck that game. Metroid 2, you know, I worked at it, and I eventually beat it. what I pick up from that chest? Chat, I didn't see. Iron ore? Okay. That looked cool as fuck. Are you going to return to Golden Light? Yeah, apparently there was a good patch. Desert knows more about it than I do, but there was uh, some good updates, and the dev even contacted me and liked my streams and wanted me to check it out again. So I might do that. There's free DLC for Blasphemous. Yeah, I heard about that. I don't, I don't think I'm going to be returning to Blasphemous. Trade-offs there. Yeah, defense-oriented ring. about Necro Barista. It's, it's a run on... You run a cafe where the patrons are undead. What? Uh... Someone said it has enough time passed for you to return to Iconoclasts. I didn't really dig the way that game started, and I had the soft lock, but... At this point, there are... You, do you see how many games are being recommended, chat member? Dozens. Dozens. I heard, you know, that there are people that like Iconoclasts and others that didn't recommend it so highly, that played through the whole thing. There's just so many games, it's hard to... It's really hard to keep up. Someone said you should you should play the entirety of J or Journey to the West. I should play the entirety of Daggerfall. Like go through every part of the map in Daggerfall. Just hit up every area. It 
that's actually fine now with Daggerfall Unity? How is that? Seriously, like, for reals, how is that? Is that actually worth checking out? Play Daggerfall on the Beans PC? You, you have a lot of faith in a computer running after putting beans in it, don't you? Oh, I can't get up here anyway. Fuck! I was like, oh, I'll get up there later. Nope, can't. What kind of beans? Um... What kind of beans? I already had this discussion yesterday. I haven't made up my mind yet. I don't know if I want to do maximum damage. So... Or waste, like, a ton of food. So I'm not really sure. It's, it's a tricky, tricky business, them beans. I don't know. Are you going to back up your computer just in case? I'm not... You do realize I'm not putting beans in the computer I just built, right? Like, I won't be able to stream if I do that. I have another computer, my old one. That still works, by the way. That still has a motherboard and a hard drive and all the, like, parts needed. Will you call tech support for it? Like I said yesterday, there's already a video. There's already a video of that exact thing. Do you regret making the beans a donation incentive? No, because it's going to be a wonderful time. Yes, I regret it deeply, but I'm going to make it fun. Help us. Impressive, Shinoa! It's fortunate I already prepared you a reward. <laughs> it's the best I can do for the time being. This Dominus is what you came for, is it not? Go ahead and take it. I'm just gonna trust this dude. One piece of Dominus summons a pillar of light. It really is Dominus. What are you thinking? Figured. With that much power, it's impossible to conceal its source. The source of Dominus, what does that mean? What it means, dear, is that I was right. This is your last chance. Come back to Ecclesia. We've been over this. My place is no longer as the old man's errand boy. I have a role to fulfill, and, I fulfill, and fulfill it I shall. How was he able to create a glyph without casting it? I thought only I could. Master Barlow should hear of this. No, notice that actually... Wow, I just... Fuck. Uh, that hurts me. That, that takes away a lot of health. Someone said, just like real dominoes. Saved! <laughs> Aha, rescued at last, but only to be butchered by this she-devil. I have no interest in butchering you, sir. You promise? Well, um, thank you. I, I guess that's what you say when people save your life, right? I I'm Abram. I'm the town's official healer. God, you can see, like, Iga really just kind of did a very similar thing in Bloodstained with the rescuing bit and the town and all that. I'm the town's official healer. Please come visit my establishment, if you dare. It was different, like, there were quests in the town, but you would end up saving that dude a couple times. 
Shame on Millie. Got it. Looks like someone used base app on him. <laughs> oh god. Frank. Mr. Frank. You want me to heal what, what my wounds? No. That's going to be useful. Did I see the most recent Invisible Man movie? No. Is that, is that good? Eh. It's okay. No. Yes. Alright. Sometimes I can tell, you know... I got the Konami Man. Sometimes I can tell exactly, like... Just... I can just judge. No, no, no. Yes, maybe, maybe, maybe. And it's like... Yeah, got it. So mixed. All right, that helps. Five thousand points. There's a cat that needs rescuing, I think. If you don't want to use wet beans, can you meet us halfway and at least use damp beans? I want you to understand something. I'll consider the damp beans, but I'm not meeting anyone halfway. There was no formal agreement. Uh, there was no written contract. I said beans. That could mean jelly beans, coffee beans, any beans. So you have to meet me halfway. I, it could be the beanbag beans. It could be any kind of beans. <laughs> could be anything. <laughs> Anal beans? No, 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 that's not real. That You just made that up. That's not a thing. Right? Guys coming at you with the fucking sickle, right? Oh. 
Aha. Yeah, it's a little unlimited. It doesn't use hearts, so I can use it frequently. Okay, so it's not that powerful, though. dangerous for a second there. Glyph sleeve. Hold A and press LR to swap glyphs. Nice. Three loadouts I could have all at once. That's nice. Double lightning is good. Okay, well, we can go back to the village real quick. If you get caught by the spotlight in the previous room, you can get a hidden item. Yo, there you are! Yo! It's you, you've come at last. At an awkward time, I see. Awkward? No, inconvenient. Yes, I would prepare a proper thanks. Gift of medicine, but now, no. Now is not the time for that. What's the matter? He did it, that man who abducted us. He took all the materials I had, I bet. Albus. Could it be for some experiment? No, no doubt. So go! Find me more materials, I command it. Then, only then, will I trust you enough to say- to, to thank you for saving my life. Sage, I need sage. So bring it. Bring it here. And then we'll see who trusts who, won't we? Ha 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 ha. Later. No! No! no. Definitely sage, thank you for now. I'll make your precious medicine. I'll even have a store to stock it, but don't dare ask to have it free. Who do you think I, I am? Yo, there you are! Ah, uh, yes, bring me chamomile and rue. Chamomile? Chamomile? I'm gonna make an antidote for your poison. Antidote. Not poison, are you? Well, this'll cure you. Later. Yo, there you are! Later. What is with that voice? In this little town? It's like Brittany from Dragon Quest Builders, too. Welcome. Hey, want to buy something? Cat. It is the cat. Look at this cat. This cat is good cat. again use touch screen in front of cat all right uh that's wait why am i able to isn't this the top screen
I guess not. Um, I have it set on the top screen. Oh, that's... Oh, I have it configured a certain way, because of Kirby. LCD layout. Main screen first. Oh. I didn't know this either. I had no idea you could, like... Look a little cat toy. Well, now this is the best Castlevania game confirmed. Look at jumps! Big jump. Do a big jump. Well, that was cool. As fickle as a real cat? Yeah, pretty much. Iga is a genius when it comes to cat design. Like, I'm not even sure cats are real. So it's a good thing that Ego was able to, uh, you know... Oh, that's the wrong way. Yeah, I, I, I don't know, are cats real? Poor Albus was a brother to you once. He genuinely cared. I thought there was, like, a storyline reason to be here. I guess not. Vinny, are you still allergic to hairless cats? I don't know. I've never been in the presence of a hairless cat. I really don't know. I'm assuming it's the saliva. That's what I've been told. It's, it's cat saliva that I'm allergic to. Probably fight a boss with um, having taken spike damage, which is going to be fun. Now, what? Why does this crab have a human voice? Man. I got hit with the big claw. Regular lightning attack will hit him from anywhere. Oh, that's good. Good to know. This time I won't waste my my lightning, my big lightning.
doesn't do a ton of damage. There's a lot of emotes. What happened? What did I miss? Did Joel raid? I don't even see it. I, I have to focus on the clab. talk about the new Gorillas track I did, yeah. I like it. I like it a lot. I went to, I was looking at the chat. I was like, oh, I'll just walk over and look at chat. And all I see in chat is just Vinny with three ellipses. Well, one ellipses. Three would be nine. Nine periods. But no, in this case, I'm like, well, you know, what's, what's even happening in chat that I need to take damage for it? I definitely need... the Spike Breaker armor from Symphony of the Night in this game. That's what I need. All right, peace out, Joel. Thanks for the raid. And everyone else just joining, get ready for some really fucking terrible gameplay. Oh! Wrong button. Wrong button. Wow, loadouts definitely don't change that way. This is what we wanted, chat. We wanted a difficult Castlevania because Symphony of the Night was way too easy. And this is what we got. Remember, this is boss number two. Three. Sorry, boss number three. Fuck! That's how bad my memory is. Immediately, I'm like, oh, no, this is the second boss fight. No, no, it's not. Please... Please don't die. Woman. 
It's saying, Sean! Bubbles. Check out this strategy. It's, it's called Take Damage. I'm gonna go for one more potion, just to be safe. I'm dead. Was that the end of the fight? <sighs> Thoughts on parasocial relationships surrounding platforms like YouTube and Twitch, especially prevalent with the younger generation. Dude, I'm fighting crabs. Like, read the room. It's good, really, you should read The Room. It's a good book. Tommy Wiseau wrote it. It's awesome. I have my thoughts on it. I, I, I don't like it. Honestly, I really don't like it. I kind of get why it happens, though. I wish people wouldn't do it. But... I, I guess, um... I just wish people were more aware of boundaries. More, um... I don't know. It, it's a complicated topic. I, I can't do that while I'm fighting a crab. Fused with bubbles and or crab. Like that right there. That I don't like. That claw. Just like kind of like it confuses me. When that claw just heads on over. And then there's some damage there. Cause it's it's a really insidious little little claw move. You know, the maneuver itself, it happens so slowly, you don't think it's a threat, and then you have a fistful of claw in your face.
I, I found it. I did it. I did it. I got the claw. I figured out the pattern. I'm ready. Oh, I'm a crab fucking expert now. God damn it. Talk shit, get hit, I guess. claw came a little early that time in a, in a different configuration I don't like that chat I don't like it I saw that I had to uh, on the elevator that uh, Yeah, we're, my name is Kurt and uh, we're in a band called Gravioner and uh, we don't really like Guns N' Roses You know, we don't promote, we don't approve of their drug use So here's a song called I Hate Myself and I Want to Die <laughs> Sorry I'm just angry Yeah, shitty hypocrite Kurt is is um has been in my mind since yesterday. Let's just put it that way. Been thinking about him. So this is a fight I didn't expect to for us to see this many times. I don't even think me doing damage to the red crab does anything. I think only the green crab, or like bluish green crab, is affected, but I don't know. Yeah, it's crab battle. Third boss in the game, not second, but third. I'll just stand there and take the damage, no problem. Just see it coming a mile away and just, just stand there and wait for it, no problem. actually take the damage for that. I, I should have.
go to hell. <laughs> go to hell. <laughs> well, Shinoa with the one-liners, fucking hell. That's good. That's how close I was to f defeating the crab last time. Absolutely astounding. Crab meat is available. The people in the village are going to be well fed. They are going to be well fed for quite a while. Well now, the sail- <laughs> Unfortunately, the sailors will all be dying by crashing into rocks that they cannot see at night. You found me lobster, ain't you? I know it! I know you're fond of me, Lobster! Ah. Bad luck to kill a seabird! Vinny, wrong way? No, this is the right way. Do you think I want to do that crab fight again because of one dumb mistake? Nope. So I was thinking about Willem Dafoe, as one does. I was thinking about, man, this guy has been in so many fucking iconic movies. And just had so many great roles. He was the Goblin. You know, he was Platoon. In the movie Platoon. That's a movie I have to rewatch. That movie is fucked up. Um, thank you. Did the man who bound you say anything? I don't remember hearing his voice, but I saw his eyes. He's got a purpose, I can tell you that. Good or bad purpose, that I couldn't say. I see. Going back to the village, I'm worried about Father Nikolai and you. What about me? How the hell did you get all this way in that flimsy gear? Come see me in the village, I'll suit you up proper. I'd appreciate it. We must have passed this way. It's the only path. Move freely underwater. Okay. Okay. I really like, um, Willem Dafoe's character in American Psycho. This music is great. One of the reasons is, like, you don't know if he knows what's going on. Like, he plays the detective. And apparently what they did was the director of American Psycho made him do the scene three times. One time where he knew for sure that Patrick Bateman did it. One take was he didn't think he did it at all. And another take where he maybe thought, but didn't know. And he took those three takes in the scene where he interviews Bateman at his desk. And apparently the director cut them up so that it switches back and forth between the performances. Have you ever read the book? No, I, I've meant to several times, but never happened. That and Clockwork Orange I haven't read. I, I really should have. The director... Who, who was... who was the director? Mary Harron? Oh, okay. That's awesome. She, she did a fucking great job on that movie. That is an incredible movie. Highly disturbing. I love the surrealism that it dips into. But, yeah, that- that whole scene was always really off-putting, and now I know why. It's because Defoe played it three different ways and they just cut it. But, um, yeah, he also played, uh, Antichrist in Antichrist, and apparently Willem Defoe's default cock was so big that they hi they had to hire a stunt cock because the director 
I think Lars von Trier didn't think people would believe that that was really Willem Dafoe's penis. So... So that happened. Also played Jesus in Marty Scorsese's movie, Last Temptation of Christ. Imagine going... <laughs> wow. What a career that dude's had. Fucking Christ. Wow. Well, actually, yeah. He was the salesman in, uh, in Existence. Yeah, he was in that. He was in a Cronenberg film. Dude was in a Spider-Man's. He was in Platoon. The Lighthouse. He was in, uh, The Florida Project, which I haven't seen. I heard that was pretty, pretty good. Good little low-budget film. Also, I want to point out, Jim Carrey did an interview on Mark Maron, which was the most humanized interview I think I've ever heard from him. He's still weird, still out there, but... A uh, really interesting interview, especially since uh, Mark Maron just got over the death of, of his girlfriend, Lynn Shelton, the director. And he's been fucked up and all, like, unhappy. And uh, you can tell that Jim really cared about his mental well-being and really made him laugh. And they got along really well. And it was, it was, um, it made me happy to hear Mark doing a little bit better. I don't always listen to his podcast. I kind of get through a couple episodes every now and then, depending on the guests. But I, I, I thought the Jim Carrey episode was, even if you don't like Jim Carrey for whatever reason, I'm sure there's plenty of reasons. I, I don't, I don't know all the, all of the details, you know, I don't follow that closely. But, uh, I thought it was a very fascinating interview, especially the stuff he talks about in relation to his, um, early career, and stuff with, like, Sam Kinison. So now, all of chat is just saying anti-vax. Well... What shape does he think the Earth is? A bit of a donut? Oh no. My favorite words used to describe Willem Dafoe's penis are confusingly large. Okay, well, we, we're not on the topic of Willem Dafoe's penis anymore. Um, good information, though. But, yeah, I, I give Jim Carrey, like, that's, uh, you know, I don't have the same beliefs as, as him. But he suffered some pretty extreme uh, heartbreak and loss and death. And uh, I can't help but have empathy for people that go through that. So, so there's that. Let's go back to Willem Dafoe's penis. Uh, someone said heavy topic. Which, Willem Dafoe's penis or Jim Carrey's loss? Both? Oh, all right. Also, Carrie, you know, was... He went through the ringer, like, the height of fame that a human could achieve, and he didn't, like, for a second, buy into it. I think he had ego, and I, I the, the... The movie about him is Andy Kaufman, like, the behind-the-scenes of uh, Man on the Moon. I was like, wow, this guy is a fucking dickhole. I think he's just really weird and, and like, getting a little insight from the Marin interview was interesting, to say the least. And I, I wonder how much that fame and attention and adulation fuck with him and his head. Okay, I, I, <clears throat> find a save point. Like, right now. Did 
this way for save point. Jellyfish. Big jellyfish. Ah! Oh, thank, thank the Lord. Thank Defoe. What's your opinion on jelly on burgers? I would say that's probably a worse topic than any of the other ones we've had so far. I was gonna say, what are you, Elvis? Hey, all you people, what was this, a meme? Is this some kind of meme? Jelly on burgers is a SpongeBob thing? Oh. What do you think of peanut butter and chocolate? Uh, that's good. There's a... Um, from Ralph's Italian Ices. There's a uh, water ice that I really like, a cream ice. Not ice cream, a cream ice that I really like. It's called Gel Ring, and it's the Jelly Ring. I've, I've talked about this on stream in the past, but it's those Jelly Ring things in chocolate ice cream. But the chocolate ice cream, it's cream ice, so it's more like, it's a mix between water ice and ice cream. It's really, really, really fucking good. So much so that my voice is cracking. I'm, I'm pogging. It's not Polish water ice. Those water demons can use a glyph. The shark demons give glyphs. Alright, we gotta get that glyph then. I love this thing. Look at its look at its face. Look at its stupid face. I love it. A missile. Ice cold. Ice cold. Ice cold. Ice cold. Ice cold. It sounds like two separate takes. It's probably not, but it it is amusing to say the least. Ralph says in the one across from Danino's. <laughs> That's, that's a little scary, because that's very close to home, but... Not that one. Any of them. That one, too. That's the one I grew up going to. It's just weird to hear... It's just a Staten Island, like, institution, Danino's. It's, uh... But then again, like, a lot of people are aware of it. It's just one of the better pizza places locally. Um... It's great. I really like it. But yeah, you, you, there's an ice cream place that became a chain. So there's like, I think there's like five or six of them now on Staten Island. Maybe, maybe more. They're probably across 
New York. I would say Ralph's Ices are probably a little bit more widespread now than they have been. Because people in chat have told me that they recognize <clears throat> Ralph's and have had it. Vinny, why do you keep saying deep dominos? Dominos, it's dominos. It's the, the power for great destructive harm. All oh, right. Okay. So there's right these rocks. I need to. How do I get that over there? Do I have the power to get that over there yet? <clears throat> I do. Oh, I can just push it. surface. There's, there's gotta be stuff down here, too. That's fucking awesome. This game continues to kick a lot of ass. I love this shit. I was wondering, like, am I gonna like this as much as I liked it the first time around? Yep. It's hard, though. I mean, you watched Crab. Crab was not, you know, could rip a tank in half. Oh, uh, no, the poor fish. I think I'm going to... I think I'm going to go back to the town and save. And take a BRB and do Rock of Ages and then come back. But let's finish exploring the um, outside underwater areas. So... How can they top Rock of Ages 2? I don't know. We'll find out. I really liked Rock of Ages 1 and 2. I thought they were like really wacky Terry Gilliam-esque games with a, a unique concept, a little monkey ball feel to them. I, I think the gimmick this time around is that you build your own obstacles. So I, I want to see what that's all about. Let's see what this does. Oh, that that's good. Yeah, there's just pretty much stuff everywhere. Huh. 
Vinny, uh, you said your Blade Runner commentary will be for the final cut. Does that have the stanky Ford narration? Nope. Nope. No, I'm gonna do, I think, the definitive version of the movie for the commentary track. I don't- I don't think... There's really not much to say about the narration other than it's terrible. Um, and I really don't like watching the other cuts of the movie because it has a really tacked on shitty happy ending and you lose a lot of, um, I don't know, I guess the edge of the movie, what, what makes it, what makes it right. great. Three iron ore, your iron sha uh, your armor is shabby, Br bring three iron See ore, then we'll talk. Right. I, don't I, was have, I don't have that. Can we have the audio track separately? Yes, that's what I plan on doing. It's just gonna be the audio track. And you sync it up yourself. All right. So that is Order of Ecclesia. Stream number one. People were requesting this. People wanted to see this one, and I wanted to play this one, and I'm glad I'm finally doing it. It's, it's really good. It's still really good. Uh-oh, you didn't see that. Anyway, um, expect more soon. Thank you for watching. We're gonna take a quick break. Rock of Ages 2. What are we? No, 3. Up next. Stick around.